Okay, so I want to make this video. So obviously I have to be quiet. <laughs> so I was seeing this and I thought there's some really good, it, it inspired me to to write this down. So yes, 9-11 was committed by a cabal. A okay. I believe this cabal is made up of the people in Antarctica or the people or is made of the people of Antarctica, right? let's call them that, and I'm basing this on all of my research and listening to a lot of people, yeah. which may include the following, native reptilians, the Lesotophiles, uh, the Aldebaran Elohim, which are like fallen angels from the Bible who decided to side with humanity, Um, yeah, all right. The secret space program, uh, Nazis who fled the war in submarines and brought with them UFOs and, and perhaps Atlanteans, humans before the flood, the sixth version of humanity, who may have been flying the Foo Fighters during World War II, but these could also be the Elohim. Okay, so that's who I believe did the 9-11 and they're, they're doing all of these. Anyway, anyway. The Greys might be another group not related to the Cabal or a part of them could be androids used by the reptilians to interact with humanity or they could be working for the mantids. Now this sounds... When I say it like that, it, it may sound ridiculous or crazy to people who are not versed in this literature, in this information. So, I mean, it may sound like that, but I think people have to sort of think about it and expose themselves to this information. Even if the description are not accurate there is a conspiracy in 9-11 and there is a group a separate group that is doing this there is a separate secret shadow government you can think of it that way I think that's the thing. Now, whether they're made up of reptilians or whether they're humans or whatever, the main point at the moment anyway is that there is a shadow group and they've been in operation for a very long time. These are the same people who assassinated Kennedy and you know, all of that. Now, the people who support Trump are seen as the white hats. Now, this is the populism, the in the populist kind of response to the reaction. It's, it's happened all over the world. The right-wing populist, they call it that. These are the Trump supporters and all that. And then opposed to them is this deep state cabal who is sort of manipulating humanity behind the shadows, all right? So the the people on the ground, they saw something was not right. They could see 9-11, they could see the Kennedy, Kennedy assassinate, they could see all of these things happening and they don't know why it's happening, right? So the people respond by voting for Trump or, you know, voting for these populist candidates. So the people are sensing 
an injustice, some deception, but so they're reacting by voting in this kind of populist uprising. So that's what sort of what's happening now. So I'm saying true 9-11 is a horrible thing, but we have to look at the big picture. What is the end game for this cabal? Some of the things you can say is they want to bring forward a one world government. You know, the new world order, Klaus Schwab and all of that. Now usually the this is presented as a bad thing. The deep state is a bad thing. They were totalitarian, they're like communists, so they, they they want to take away our freedoms, you know, that's the idea. But we have to ask ourselves why? They want to bring forward a one world government. Why? Now I'm saying they want to obtain centralized control over the whole of humanity. So they can get control of the nukes. That's my, what I'm saying. Okay. After this centralized global control is achieved, the rules-based order, you know, it may be the case the cabal will then bring forward free energy, cures to many diseases, and institute some kind of utopia on Earth. So perhaps the cabal, the deep state, the one world government are not the bad guys after all, and there is some misunderstanding here. The way to end this misunderstanding, if such exists, is to bring forward total disclosure. There is a breakaway civilization of cabal controlling humanity, but they may not be the bad guys. Okay? This is... If you look about the um, that Vegas shooting, you know the October twenty seventeen Vegas shooting. I saw a video where one of the people who were in the shooting said a woman came to the front of the concert and said, "You're all going to die!" Like forty five minutes before the shooting took place, so that was like a setup. The Timothy McVeigh bombing. Oklahoma City, I think that guy's still alive. Um, what are they trying to do? They're trying to take the guns away from the people in America. Because if people have guns, they will fight back. So, so this is like that, isn't that the Second Amendment? So the, the people, the... Regular people will look at that and say, oh, they want to take our guns away. It's a second am amendment. But why do they want to take the guns away? It's because humans are unpredictable. They're violent. They're, 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 they're. The cabal is, is afraid. If I was to be charitable, if, if I were to think of the cabal as looking for humanity's interests, I would say that the cabal wants to disarm humanity. They want to take the guns away. They want to make humanity, deprive them of the ability to uh, create violence. So thereby, and take away nukes, for instance. And after they do that, they can open things up and bring about free energy and all of this utopian kind of project. But before they can do that, they need to disarm humanity, you know. And they're going about doing this by doing <laughs> this horrible way, I would have to say that. And now that's a charitable interpretation. I could be wrong. Maybe they are, maybe what they want to do is they want to disarm humanity, take the nukes, so humans become like they can't defend themselves and they become, the cabal comes and, you know, it's it's a very dark kind of view, like the cabal is against humanity, but perhaps they're not. Uh, but the way they're going about it in this kind of secretive way, I don't know why they're doing it in secret. Is there some kind of a, a third party, uh, uh, like, uh, who will not allow them to overtly take away the nukes? You know how the, uh, there have been stories of UFOs going and dismantling nukes or 
starting up nukes maybe you know there, there, there's a there's a huge context to that we you know people when they look at that they think oh the ufos are coming and they're disarming our nukes they're messing with our nukes but why are they doing that maybe because the americans were bombing and doing all these tests and the, and the and the native reptilians or the other species they got tired of it and they wanted to stop the americans from bombing them you know, their habitat this is the problem humans have nukes humans are not like i don't think this is our planet i think the, we are the invaders and the, the beings who actually live on this planet and or and their human allies in, in previous civilizations they have a problem with humanity but i think this is a problem caused partially by ignorance because most of humanity doesn't know what's going on and it's also maybe you know humans are easy to control and manipulate and maybe we have a, we have a violent nature <laughs> we're very short-sighted and myopic and you know we live on the basis of fear rather than openness you know so i guess the story i want to the point of this video is maybe the cabal the one world government aren't really the bad guys i'm not saying they're the good guys because certainly doing 9-11 and doing things like that, that's a horrible thing, you know. But there is some kind of this cold war going on. And that's also mentioned in the, in the Lacerda files. There is a cold vertical war that's been going on since the end of World War II. There is a cold war, a cold war, but it's not just between the Russians and the Americans. It's It's that's just one part of it there's another war like between these different species of aliens and humans and their you know the secret spirit there's a cold war and 9-11 is all part of that cold war the high and is part of the cold war but i'm not sure if the cabal are the bad guys and i think the the white hats the trump supporters they are just sort of like regular people who are confused and who don't know what's going on and who are just reacting because they are seeing all this horrible thing and, and you know they think they're being attacked but there might be something else happening that we're not aware of you know?